Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Utic Desolation. Now, um, there's been another update. I've lost my current save files once again, and it is just how it is, unfortunately. Now, with what would normally happen was normally I bet I bulk record these and upload my videos. Um, which gives you a nice load of content per update. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do this this week, and um, I was going to do them basically on the day they were uploaded. Um, one video per day, basically, five days. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that, and subsequently I've lost a chance to since it took us up updated. Um, with the uh, coming update for Battle Brothers as well, um, I think it's called the Burning Sands, which is coming out tomorrow as the time of this recording on the 13th. Um, I'm probably going to have more of that content on. I'll still do a couple of Utuk videos per week um, to keep up the content. The thing is that this game is updating a lot recently and I'm losing my save files. It is just how it is. Um, and I'm not having not being able to get back to them um, because these branches are not appearing for me. The 0 0.87 branches, I'm not getting those. Um, I really need to talk to devs about it. I keep on forgetting to do it. I'll keep my save file just in case. Um, but I thought what we might do is I might just use this opportunity to talk through some of the basic things for the game. Um, I suppose I could do that. I suppose we could just do something different. Yeah. Swampers, were beast. Um, we could play the Swampers, perhaps. Um... Only faction I haven't played with is the Were Beasts, because I really do not enjoy running with them. Um, not going to lie, um, I find them um, pretty frustrating to play. Um, the fact they eat meat, which is one of the two ingredients that you use to make medicine, and overall, I don't know. I just they just don't do it for me at all. Um, I don't know, I like, they're fantastic NPC faction and fighting against them is always engaging, um, but I don't know, Just they just don't do it for me. I mean the vampires are not too bad, but if we're rating factions, humans are always a good balanced, balanced thing to go with, especially for first time players. Um, has some very powerful range units and some very powerful tank units. Um, also have the most variety out of the factions I find, um, especially with the unit options they have. Um, downside, and also they don't eat any of your special resources which is very nice. Um, they are basically the default faction and they are very useful to play with. You have all different kind of strength and weaknesses. You've got healers, basically blocking units, damage dealers, range units, um, shove units that are designed to push units around the field. Um, never been a big fan of the monk, to be honest. Um, I can sort of see why they'd be useful to get past the defensive line and get the back line, but you never have enough units on the field anyway. I've never found them that great. Damage dealers, all that jazz, assassins, more range units. They have a very good range of units. Um, Forsaken, from what I've played, they're very tanky, and very damage dealy. Um, if you keep them boxed up together and they can block, they will just become very nasty to deal with. That's some very nasty units. Swampers, yeah, they can be nasty. Um, from the three units that you, get, like the four units you get, you get basically a hook unit that can jump and grab enemies. Um, you get a, a, a rehealing tank. The thing is, these guys are very defensive, which is that you have two defensive units, which is um, these two guys. They have a lot of armor, and have, if I remember correctly, poisonous crit, sealed wielder, um, retaliation. Yeah, Protector, that's... no, that's not it. I thought they had First Strike, so when you hit them, that might be another unit. That might be one of the Bandit units. No, that is a Bandit unit that has First Strike. Um, they have, These two are very tanky. This one can regen. I'm pretty sure this one can pick up regen at some point. 
got the vampire, which is potent. You've got the basically blow dart. He's basically a range attack unit with poison, which is very powerful early on. And you basically have someone that has basically a healing unit. These guys are quite tanky. As you can get, like, the thing the thing with any of the special factions I find in this game is that if you can get more of their, of their, of their group, more of their faction to join you, they become even more powerful. Like, for example, if you can just pick up more of the Swamp Folk, they become, like, a real nasty, real nasty group because they all synchronize very well with each other. Same with the Vampires. Um, the Vampires are very powerful, like melee group they don't have any range units but they move very quickly um but as i said the downside with them their their strength also is their main weakness which is that they require blood if they don't have blood they become a liability and blood is used to make medicine it doesn't hurt the vampires as much because they have basically um where is it they used to have the ability that once they basically healed wounds. Hmm. That used to be a thing. Personally, I like playing the vampires. Whale beasts, not so much. I haven't really experimented them that much, but they just. There's not enough variety in them. Like, you basically have three types. There's not enough variety of them for it to for work for me as a faction yet. Hopefully the developer will add more wear beasts in. Um I'll probably just give like a a quick a quick um sewing off of how the swamp folk work so that you guys can understand some of the interesting ways of playing them. Uh right here. Let's have that person. We'll have that person. And I'll grab a blow dart. Oh, that's, this is actually the thing with these guys, which is that the blow dart guy is really good, but he's ranged. And we need someone who can do damage because these guys can't do damage. Um, hard questions. Pardon me. Oh, I didn't mean to yawn. Um, hard questions. Hmm. No, grab him, it's fine. Uh, so what do we want? Grab the blowgun for him. Some of these mutating items are interesting. Um, but early on, I will want to basically do this. Just go exploration for now, just to solve some of the stuff off the faction. I never do Iron Man, because obviously in case I get file corruption... Let's get the intro. Um, like I said, I'll talk to the developer and see if I can get my um, get my files unlocked. Um, but for the meantime, I think it's probably a good thing to, to show off what this faction can do. Um, retaliation. I always prefer last stand. It's, it's like a much better ability in my opinion. So let's go here. Prisoners. Okay. What are we looking at? That's not great, to be honest. Um, should be able to do something with it, though. Let's get up here. We can't do anything this turn. You've got to basically sit here. Yeah. 
We need to get rid of this person. Very nice. We'll get Berserk on him. Ah, I forget that. Okay, you're going to move up. Get that on him. He's going to die from the poisoning. Right, you're going to hit him. Doesn't really bother me. I mean, playing on adventure mode is... It's relatively straightforward. I do it to always get a better feeling of how the factions work. Um, I should probably at some point make a how to play video for these things. But most of the stuff, most of the time people are watching already know enough about the game that they don't need that. If, if you guys would like a, a how to play this game intro like series, you can let me know and I'll probably do it. Who do we want? Grab you. Already has range support. So we don't need range support item. Extract that. So we've got a barbarian. Nothing fantastic. So far, not I've been relatively impressed with the swamp folk. Uh, as always, I find that the specialist factions, especially on the first level, tend to be weaker because you can't get more of them. Which is the same. I'd like to get them as soon as possible. So where are they coming from? They won't come through here initially because of well, they might. Uh, no, they won't because this is blocked off a spike. So they've got to take the long way around. So it's either around here or through here. Okay. Yeah, please help us. Okay. Move up there, please. And you're going to run down here. The maps definitely feel much more alive than they used to. I definitely think the new some of the updates have added a lot more variety to to that. Hit the terrain. Okay. You're fine. Okay. Once again, um, I am playing on the basic setting, the basic difficulty, which means that uh, it's probably going to be a lot easier than um, than others may find it. Armor's still up, which sucks. He's going around a long way, is he? Okay, no, no problem to me. Um... Alright, let's get some re regeneration on him. I always forget how much armor these guys have.
he's dead. Move him down here. Interesting to try out the swamp people. I I don't I haven't really played much of them as an actual main party focus, so it'd be interesting to see. Not going to shoot my own guys because that's stupid. Yeah, I can see these guys needing a lot of stamina. Yeah, powerful combination with the Berserk, but you need a lot of stamina to make it play out. And they lack anti-armor. Attacks from what I can see. One thing I would like to see, if I am able, is I'd like to see. Uh, I'd like to see the AI using um, the friendly AI using more of their squad abilities. That would be nice. The lack of shielding ally and various bits and pieces is a bit frustrating because it is a very powerful ability for um, for the human faction, and the AI just doesn't do it. So it would be useful to see that. Uh, got a spearman, got a staff. Nothing really worth writing home about, to be honest. Journey into the unknown. Right. More health, really, and more stamina. So that. Nah, just a bit. I'm not gonna lie, slightly frustrated that we can, couldn't continue our Forsaken run. Um, but that's just me. So they're going after this person, are they? Okay. And get you up here. Ugh. Yeah, because that's not going to be problematic at all. Right, poison him. Give him that. Stab him. Excellent. Yeah, he gets first strike off. But the poison should be able to do him not enough damage to wipe him out. As I said, this is like basic difficulty, so the game is a lot, a lot easier than. Um, if you're playing on any other difficulty. Uh, I did pick up some new games in the sales. I picked up Mechanicus and I picked up Bomber Crew and I picked up Ch um, Children of Moor, I believe it's called. Um, all of which will eventually make their way onto my channel. Um, I am just waiting for the opportunity. Uh, once again, I don't know what is going on with 
the um, mutator drops because I'm just getting lots of duplicates of everything at the moment. I might need to talk to the developers about that. Right. Strength. Damage isn't really the thing you need to worry about with these guys. It's the poison effect from their weapons. So a bit more health is always useful. Nothing off here. Yeah, it's a wave fight, is it? Hmm, interesting. Relatively solid group. Not much melee units, though. Um... How do I want to do this? Got enough range units that we should be okay. Yes, 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 they keep on coming. Blah de blah de blah. End of days, all that jazz. Move him over here. Monks have high enough mobility. Right. Relatively straightforward to do. Um, but as I said, I picked up a couple of games. I'm hoping to solve Mechanicus and Bomber Command, or well, Bomber Crew, sorry. Um, it's a very good game. I think quite challenging. Um, what else do we? What else do we have? Any other news? Um, as I said, Battle Brothers update DLC is coming out tomorrow, so that's going to be coming onto my channel as well. I had hoped that the developers would have well sent me a review copy or something, but it is just how it is. That went rather nicely. Move him up. Has the armor for it. So we kill these ones. But no, yeah, so... Plan of attack for Battle Brothers is to have three videos of that up a day. Or three videos per week. Um, I should say, sorry, a week. Three videos a week. Um, as This is my standard format for when new stuff comes up. Um, I might do a couple um, a couple more videos than that, but I don't know, I do not know yet. Um, and then have two videos a week of either Utuk or something else. Probably Utuk if I can get my save files back. Um, we will have to see. Yeah, that arm is just becoming a pain to deal with. So much armor as well. Right, killing blow. Ah, I do like the protector trait, it's always a very nice trait to have. Right. Nasty hit. Let's throw some regeneration on him. Get him for another, another bass of damage. Yeah, these guys are mostly just stopping units more than anything else. Armor is still holding. Crit hit. Excellent. There we go. That's the first wave done. Spear. 
Uh, what do we want from this? On normal crit hits, unlocks. Eh. Grab that for the increase in agility, it's always useful. Can't use it right now, of course. Chuck that. More con, more strength, which is damage, more agility. I really need to make a how to guide for this at some point. Right, defend them, next wave. A couple of more range units, nothing we can't handle. This down here is going to be a pain though. Because I don't think we can actually. Yeah, we can't get down there. So this person is dead. Which is fine with me, on all honesty. Something like this. It's going to be a fairly solid hold point. Unless the AI is uh, going to be stupid. Which you can never put it past AI, to be honest. Okay. Nope. Send him here. Switch that person out. Send that person there. Right, let's see where they go. I suppose I could use this peasant as a lure to catch people down this low ground. Ah, uh, well, he sort of did what I wanted him to do. Let's go here. Nice amount of damage, poisoning. Yeah, that arm is obscene. What I might do is I might put him here, put regeneration on him to use him as bait. Um, move him up to block off this approach. There we go. He might be able to hold. Unlikely. Now this person is dead as a cucumber. Unfortunate. Ooh, crit hit, excellent. More regeneration on him. He probably won't survive, but it's worth a shot. Now this person's dead. Well, he served his purpose. Still can't break through his armor. Unfortunate. Now I only wish that the AI was better at holding positions. 
Right. Take care of him. The death of the civilian is annoying because that was a unit we could have used in another battle. Uh, but, alas. Support up. <laughs> Nasty shot. Would have preferred if they'd gone after the uh, range unit myself versus me. Yeah. And bits and pieces. Uh, max health is always useful. Uh, more health because our health will start going down. What does this stuff run off? Stamina. Tanky units, not much armor, so. So, this. Okay. Yeah, let's take a hard fight. Only two range units, that's not too bad, no boss units. Not a lot of NPCs, though. Okay. Two groups, if we're being really honest. Okay. Two attack the two groups. There's the, the main group and the flanking group, really. Right. Yes, 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 please help us, all that jazz. Let's get to here and take him out. So where they can they come through? There's lots of ways they can come through. hit. Should be able to manage this without too much issue. Man, they broke through my armor really quickly. Okay. I'll shoot him for a start. Um, give him berserk. Get him again with another attack. Um, 
Let's run around the back and get crit hits off, which will start poisoning people. He's dead, no matter how you flavour it. He's going to be dead from the poison. He's panicking, which is fine. Problem is, he's going to charge and push. Which is fine. We finish him off. He's dead to the poison. That's not. A, I shouldn't have taken that fight really there because they've both got armor, so they're just going to stand there for ages, just shooting at each other. He's running away, which is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. That isn't great, though. Right. Berserk the range unit. Guy's arm is a pain to deal with. Hit. Problem is, she's going to come back to attack him. Right, berserk him. Move him up. Right. Yeah, I've got a relatively decent feel about how these guys play now. Very nasty combination. You basically use their healer to overcharge their units to do multiple attacks, and though their attacks in themselves aren't damaging because a lot of the swamp people's attacks aren't, um, the penalties they imply, like bleed and like poison, really quickly add up. This range. Wizard had an anti armor unit. Yeah, legendary blowpipe, some javelins, alcohol. Grab that. Uh, damage isn't. So much problem right now. He's got a lot of stamina.
that's really powerful. Having bleed and poison on a unit is ex extremely powerful. Right. Very nice, very nice, but I'm going to end it there, folks. Like I said, I will send a message to the developers and ask if there's some way to recover my lost files. But I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.